Welcome back to another RMS Support Center tutorial video. Today's topic will cover how to add a change request. To add a change request, simply enter into the contract. Then on the contract menu, click on the finances tab. Then click on the blue tile that says contract changes. To add a contract change, click the add button in the left hand corner. Now select the type of change request that you would like to add. Then click next. Here, RMS automatically generates our change request number. We'll have to set the reason code to the reason code that we want for our change request. Then lastly, click Finish. Now, on the Inception tab, enter in the information below, filling out any dates or text fields that need to be filled. Lastly, the section down here for the requested by name, recommended by name, and approved by name, you can select a staff member by clicking the Select Staff button and selecting a staff member for the appropriate field. Now on the Description tab, it allows us to add description items by clicking the Add button in the left hand corner and creating the description item. Here, simple enough, we just fill out the information down below. There is a quick way to fill out some of the descriptions down at the bottom if you click on the blue notebook you'll see that a larger text box appears and we have this button called insert standard text. We can click this button and select a standard text that has already been created in RMS and click OK. And we see that the text appears and we can select OK without typing a single keystroke. The next tab status funding has two sections. We have the change request status at the top and the change request funding. The change request status allows us to mark any of the checkbox on the left hand side, whether we need a BCD approval plan, specs, government estimate proposal or negotiations. By marking any of these checkboxes, we'll see that some data fields are uncovered for us to fill out. Lastly, on the change request funding down here on this data grid, we can edit the change amount by double clicking on the white columns on each row. Lastly, we have our change request funding status down at the bottom and we can change from proposed to approved. The claim and disputes tab. Here we can see any contract claims or disputes relating to this particular change request. And lastly, we have our final tab, which is the supporting documents tab. Here we can add any supporting documents that we have for this particular change request. We can add any documents ranging from documents generated by RMS, such as the correspondence, request for information, QA or QC report, all the way to any attachments that you would like to add from your own machine. Lastly, we have our BCD button at the top. By clicking this, we'll be able to see a report view of what our information looks like. 